Hi everyone, it's Leonor. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Um, I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed to me and has listened to me throughout the few months um, that has supported my channel. I um, I started with Leo um, <laughs> um, back in the Leo season, uh, July. I opened up my platform in, on YouTube uh, with Leo. Um, as far as the first zodiac sign, I read for. And so here we are, full 12 zodiac signs circle back to Leo. And I will do this um, in the same um, order um, if, need, if need be. I don't know. I may change my mind. But I know that I definitely wanted to read for Leo. I had so much um, intention and, and, and energy uh, to do this for you, Leo. I, I don't know where it came from. All of a sudden, I had this burst of energy to do your reading tonight. <laughs> I was going to wait another couple of days, but okay. Um, I guess uh, this is meant to be done today, and I'm, I'm glad that you're here to join me. So welcome. Um, a little bit um, about Leo before I go into your reading. Um, really quick, uh, I just want you to know that Leo, you represent royalty. Um, that is your house. The house represents royalty, the theater, glamour. Is it a surprise? <laughs> um, it also represents um, the big ego. Um, but you guys have just as a, a big heart, you know, even though you do are known to have big egos, you're also well known to have huge hearts. And this is the fifth house of the Zodiac. Um, it is the teenagers of the Zodiac, um, you know, getting ready to go to college, you know, the popular kid, the jock, um, you know, that that's how we describe it as astrologers. Um, um, this house, the Zodiac sign. Um, but, you know, the house also represents the kingdom, uh, also um, government, you know, um, especially if you live in the United States. Um, your self-esteem is very, pretty much balanced, if I had to say so. Um, and that's a good quality. Uh, you guys are known to be the king or queen of your own castle. Listen, do not go into a Leo's house and tell them what to do in their own house. Tell them how to run their household. Do not do that in their castle. <laughs> For those who are cross-watching, um, you know, worry about your own. Um, but they, they, they take good pride and, and, and comfort in, in their own home. Now, one thing you need to know, Leo, um, at the time that I am reading your... Um, tarot this evening the sun is in Scorpio so what does that mean the sun being in Scorpio so every planet has a house and the way the constellations are moving and and the way the 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 earth is rotating um, at the moment um, the sun happens to be in the house of Scorpio. And that I think that's a very powerful, great energy for you, Leos. Um, I'm not going to lie. Both Scorpio and Leos are fixed signs. So you are going to be very rigid in the way you think and the way you do things, um, at least for the next few weeks. Um, and, and I want you to expect some battles. Um, Scorpio is a dark planet. It is ruled by Pluto. I know, I have four placements in Scorpio. So it is a dark, like, you're going to go deep psychologically at times within yourself. Um, and, and like I said, you'll, you'll, you'll may expect some battles. Um, within yourself or, or outside influences, don't. I would not fuck with a Leo at this moment when the sun is in Scorpio. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> just FYI again. Um, but also, you know, uh, you know, and this is just me talking as a Scorpio, even though it is a dark side, um, it's a dark planet. I mean, Pluto is the last planet of, of and, it, and not only that, it's also co-ruled by Mars, which is a planet of, of aggression and the planet of war and, and drive. Let's not forget. It will force you to look at the, look at the transformation of your life. In, in a deeper, le um, um, a bigger lens, if I had to say it. It's going to look at the small detail, from the very small detail up to the very big details of your life. The transformation that you have been through. The untold truth. And the fact that Mercury is in Scorpio right now, the planet of communication, even though it's in retrograde, ah. Uh, now we have the sun in the Mercury and Scorpio. <laughs> and Leos are not the ones to be quiet about things. You know, they roar. That They're the lions of the Zodiac. Um, but in case, um, and I do remind my, my viewers all the time to look at their birth chart. Um, because um, even though you're a Leo sun, and I'm reading for Leo sun, I'm also reading for people who have placements in moon, moon in Leo. That is very significant. The moon represents your emotion, your inner feelings, your, your, um, um, your thoughts, your reactions, okay? So if you have a moon in Leo, I welcome you. Please, please, please listen. This is also for you. Even a Mars in Leo, okay? Look at your placement. I always leave the link to, birth mar to the birth chart um, website, which is astro.cafeastrology um, forward slash birth charts or natal. I'll leave the link in the description box, folks. All right, so that was my quick intro. Let's get rid of that, okay? Let's also get rid of my pen. Um, all right, so let's start your reading. My lions. Or lionist. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the Wildwood Tarot, and I am also going to use my African American Tarot. Love using these two. Huge energies on these two. Huge. All right. Um, I'm gonna start with the African Americans, and I will clarify it with my Wildwood Tarot. All right. Um, if you're, it's, it's a general reading, by the way, this is a general reading, which means it could uh, pertain to your career. It could pertain to your love life. It could pertain to, um, anything that, um, you may resonate, you know, you, some parts of the reading you may resonate, some parts you may not, um, you know, reach me for a personal reading. I I'm doing them for free until the end of the month. Um, I, I did say um, in the Libra reading, um, which was my last reading, um, and then I started again with you, Leo, um, that I was about to charge. Um, and I'm going to charge $22.22 for those who are asking. Um, $22.22. <laughs> two, 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 two. Um, I'm just setting up my account. Um, don't want to really use PayPal, to tell you the truth. Um, trying to find another avenue um, so that it's easy for you folks to reach me even through a telephone call um, that's that'll be fine with me just email me I'll leave my emails in the description box okay um, but at, I will start to charge and starting next month all right um holy shit guys the judgment once when I see the judgment card come out I'm like ha that is Pluto energy. That is the Scorpio that I was telling you about. Um, I'll show you the cards. Hold on. Just want to get one more. One more for Leo. So, so far the four of wands came out with the judgment. Holy shit. What the fuck? All right. I'm um, sorry. I'm feeling the... I, I, I'm sorry, folks. I apologize. Mercury is in Scorpio, and my Mercury is in Scorpio, so, you know, I may have a potty mouth this evening. I apologize in advance. I really tr I really do try to curb my language. I really, really do. Um, I, I swear to God, I do. <laughs> All 
All right, hold on. I saw a flipper. Oh, no. Where are you? Did I see you? Uh, no, I didn't. Come on, give me one more. Is that all? I'm going to try one more time. All right, so the four wands uh, represents a home. Committed relationship. Uh, it does represent two people coming together. Um, could be um, moving in. Uh, somebody moving in. With the judgment card, it could mean um, the end or the beginning, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm going to clarify them. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shit. Okay, sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't really mean to curse that much. All right. It's just a whole bunch of cards came out. I was just looking for one more. All right, that's fine. That's okay, because it came out when I was talking about this. So let's figure out what's going on here, okay? We'll figure it out together, Leo. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so let me show you the cards. The four of wands. The four of wands um, in my African-American tarot, you'll see some images, not all of them, but some of them do have these um, images of the Western African-American um, culture. Um, when I mean Western, I mean when uh, the African-Americans um, that came here from Africa. Um, so most of my images look like this you know, from the region of Africa. And then there's always a little depiction, not on all of them, but on some of them, there's a little depiction on the uh, culture, the Western, westernized culture um, once the African-American came to the United States and then they started thriving in some form, shape, or another. Now you see this amazing, like this represents royalty to me. This is, come on, this is silk. I know you know silk when you see it, Leo. <laughs> um, this represents loyalty, royalty. Not, well, interesting I said loyalty because um, Leos are known for no loyalty. Uh, you guys are a fixed sign. Um, but he's taking his little, you see? Now, it doesn't matter if you see a man or a woman. It does not matter. Energy are interchangeable, okay? When it comes to tarot. Um, he's, he has a stool. He's holding on to his stool. Like, he's traveling with his stool. Like, and then his umbrella. Like, very regal, you know what I mean? Like, you know, rich. And then you see this, this person in the background um, basically half naked, working on something, um, maybe cooking outside his hut. Um, all right. Now the judgment card is a major arcana. Um, this is what I was looking at. And, and you know what? There are going to be some naked people, um, up in the African American cards. They will be, um, nothing that we have not seen before, folks. Um, but yes, just a warning, um, you'll see some naked body parts. Um, not all of them have it. Now, the judgment represents Pluto, like I said. It is fire energy. Pluto is not fire energy. Pluto represents Scorpio, which is a water energy, but um, it is the fire watery element. Scorpios are, are actually the fire signs of the water signs, if I had to say it. <laughs> the fire elements of the water sign. Um, but judgment is, is basically some type of justice coming in, um, either in your home, could be, could be career, um, something that, that's well-deserved, well-coming. That, that's the energy I'm getting, getting from it, actually. Um, then there's a page of pentacles. Page of pentacles sometimes could mean an apology or a new offer, um, you know, a little tiny little offer. Uh, hmm. All right. Then I have the Eight of Swords. Uh, the Eight of Swords is some type of anxiety or worry. 
um, you see this man, um, you know, right? They have like this grave, um, this ditch with eight swords around it. Um, and the energy, that's, that's, that's what splits this energy, which doesn't look so pretty, does it? With this man. But um, to me, what I am looking at is this is your inside influence. Remember, I did say that you may have battles within yourself, especially with the sun being in Scorpio at the moment. So, um, and, and honestly, folks, this doesn't matter even if the sun is not in Scorpio, even if the sun is in Virgo or the sun is in freaking Capricorn for all I care. Um, if this resonates um, today, next week, next month, two months from now, you're, when you see this video is when you were meant to see it. But what I see is um, a battle within yourself. Um, this ditch is kind of representing something. So if I pause, Leo's just be patient with me. I'm just reading the energy. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like yellow book comment. I don't know if you could see it, but he's <laughs> just looking at, that would be a Leo, wouldn't it? He's holding a rock. It, it's like, come one step closer and I will throw this stone right at you. And, and, and the, this energy kind of sense it. Yeah, they, don't fuck around with a Leo basically right now. I, I, this is the energy I'm getting. Um, then I have the um, page of wands. So another page. Um, that's two pages. I do see some type of struggle, um, and I don't know yet who this may be. It could be you or someone that you know. Mm. You know, it looks. You know, look how he's holding that that wand, um, and then on top of that, it's burning on one side. Um, it's it's almost as if there's there's still someone is still holding a torch for you, Leo. Or you could be still holding a torch for someone, meaning your passion, um, your heart, some type of emotion. Um, I don't sense that it's a negative emotion. Could be. I have to clarify. Uh, then I have the Five of Cups. All right. Uh, the Five of Cups. So what does the Five of Cups mean? Usually... Um, some type of grief or breakup. Um, you know, it, cups means emotion. It's a water element. Moon. That's why I was. I told you check your moon sign if you have Leo and Moon and Leo, the house of the the fifth house. But in the back of that, um, what is this? Like some type of reptile, huge reptile. Um, remember I was telling you about the little, like, um, <sighs> images, um, like you'll see like the region of Africa and then you'll see the westernized, um, culture of African Americans. Um, to me, it's the civil war, right? The, when the African Americans were helping, um, America fight the civil war. Um, but I, I sense some type of, um, victory to tell you the truth. Um, it looks like you're getting over something. And, and look how brave this little boy is um, against this reptile. I mean, he's, look at it. He's stabbing it with one knife, mind you. One knife, one little boy, and a huge reptile. <laughs> that is some balls. Um, yeah, look at all the cups on the ground. Um, it, it's, it, to me, it's, it's something that you have no passion about, uh, you know, um, 
And at the same time, it's like you're defeating, either you're defeating the demons within yourself and, or the other person may feel this way about you. Remember, it's interchangeable energy, um, but I do send some type of victory in the Five of Cups. Um, and then last but not least, this is the Four of Swords. <sighs> What do I sense from the Four of Swords? So the Four of Swords is um, time away. Meditation. Contemplation. Um, I do sense some type of talk though. Sincere though, very sincere, I'm not gonna lie. Some type of sincere conversation or or negotiation. Um I just I feel like you may not make a decision right away. Whatever you're contemplating, it's going to be in contemplation for a while. <laughs> um, not a you know a long while, but um, you have to think about it. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna clarify these beautiful cards that came out. I I, I do love the energy. Um, I'm glad that more cards came out because it, it just tells me more of a story. But. Um, just so you know, um, I always like to read the bottom of the card. Um, sort of gives me, um, bottom of the deck, I mean, I should say, the bottom of the deck, once I stop, stop shuffling, I like to read the bottom of the deck sometimes for, I don't know, closure, um, if you will. But it's the Ace of Cups, um, but the Ace of Cups came in reverse though. So what does that energy mean if it's in reverse? <sighs> uh, uh, hmm. All right, in the upright, I'm just showing it to you in the upright. Look how she's pouring the cup. And usually the Ace of Cup is, 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 is a pouring out of emotions, whether it's, um, you know, it's different images for, um, on different decks, but you usually it's always a waterfall of, of of, of either, um, uh, in this, in this, in this case, this woman pouring a jug into the river. Remember cups represents emotions. There's somebody not letting go of their emotions, um, because it came out in the reverse. They're not letting go of, of their emotions. Um, they're holding on really tight it's like a lifeline. It's like a lifeline to them. And the Ace of Cups um, can be great. You know, the Ace of Cups is, is, is love. I mean, immense love for someone or someone, you know, that loves you or you love them. It, it doesn't matter. But um, when it's in the reverse, the way I'm reading this energy is somebody is, it's it's like they're they have this illusion that even though a love has left the building they're holding on to it as much as possible it's an illusion they're having an illusion um, and maybe it's not an illusion maybe they do love you leo or you love them back, and I remember it's interchangeable. The energy, I don't, you you know the story more than I do. I'm just reading the cards. All right, um, let's clarify. Let's start clarifying. Yeah, I'm not on camera, Leo. <laughs> I can't remember if I was on camera or the first time I read your your reading. Um, sometimes I am on camera. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I just don't feel like making myself up for you. And I should have done that because, you know, Leo does represent beauty, glamour. I just didn't feel like glamouring myself up. Look, you're talking to a Scorpio <laughs> with an Aquarius moon. 
You just don't give a fuck. The message is more important. All right. Um, let's see. So I'm going to clarify a few cards here. I'm not going to clarify all of them. I am going to clarify what came out here. Let's see. What's going on here? Uh, God. All right. I guess I'm going to clarify. Yeah, the four of wands. I do want to clarify the four of wands and, and the judgment card, of course. All right. Um, so for the four of wands, um, which is a home, um, yeah, I sense somebody with money in this card. Um, and look how regal he's just walking. All right. All right. So what clarified it? The seven of pentacles. Um, healing. This is my Wildwood Tarot. So I'm using another um, tarot deck to clarify it. Okay. Sorry about the glare. Um, look how this person is above um, this body. Uh, I sense some type of struggle. Um, I don't read my Wildwood Tarot in the upright. Uh, I'm sorry. Of course, I read it in the upright. What I'm saying is the energy. If it's if 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 I feel like it's a re card that needs to be read in reverse, I will feel that it would be that it's a reversal card. I could feel that. I read my African American Tarot cards all either in reverse or upright. Um, for some reason. They all came out in the upright for you, except for that last card that I showed you with the Ace of Cups. But with my Wildwood Tarot, it's all going to be in the upright. I will sense the energy if it's not. In this case, I, I see a letting go. Look how she's meditating. And look how this, this man is walking by himself. Do you see him with someone else? The four ones, folks... For those who don't know tarot, the four of wands is a commitment, a, a, per, a two people, not one, not just one person that you see here, two people in union. Someone is letting go of a job, of a relationship. And, and there, the card is, I don't know if you can see it here, but it, it's, it says healing. The Seven of Pentacles, it's someone that wants to work or planting a seed to, to make a relationship um, or to have their endeavor or career um, be more fruitful. Um, I kind of sense that that's not happening right now. It's like a, it's like she's meditating over this body, whatever this body could be could mean to you. This this is an energy here. I feel, and I don't know what this energy means, who is it, what it is, but she is healing herself to let go of this energy. Alone. The judgment, oh, let's see what the judge, oh, judgment, yeah. Um, so the judgment card, I mean, we're talking about, you know, Scorpio influencing um, Leo right now at the moment uh, because the sun is in Scorpio, but um, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> The fact that the judgment card came out probably is, all has to do with what I just said about the four wands and, and, the, and the seven of pentacles. Just letting go. It, it is the end. It's a judgment. It's your judgment. To clarify it is the ace of wands. A new beginning. Look at that little spark of life. Is what they call it, that spark of fire. Yeah, it was meant to be this way. You don't you don't mess around with judgment. When this when this card comes out, that's the universe telling you. This is pretty much a gift. It's the end. Because we want to give you 
a new life. New idea, new creation, new job, new relationship. You take it as it resonates. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles is actually at the bottom. I'm not going to take this card, but the fact that I see the Nine of Pentacles. Um, the Nine of Pentacles usually means a single energy. <laughs> Um, in the traditional tarot cards, it's usually a woman um, in her power. They, she, she don't need nobody to take care of her. <laughs> she could take care of herself. Um, but in my Wildwood Tarot, you know, the images are very different. Of course, I will pick something different. Um, not traditional because that's who I am. Um, but yeah, that was that. This was on the bottom of the deck, and and yeah, that's what I sense. Just a single energy taking care of yourself. Very independent. All right. Let's move on. What is this page of? Okay, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify the page of Pentacles. Um, I mean the fact that um, it was the Judgment card was already clarified was a, a new creation, a new, you know, something new coming your way. Um, so endings, um, starting new beginnings. Um, this page of Pentacles, I feel like it's gonna tell me what it is. I'm curious to know, Leo. You may already know. All right. Uh, he's holding a pentacle, um, which is stability. It's an earth sign. You could be di um, either dealing with um, someone with earth in their chart, um, which is Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, you may have that in your chart. Um, that doesn't matter. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take it. The spirit told me to take it. It's three cards clarifying this. Gotta take it. All right. All right, what is this new start? Let's see. This is my story here. Not mine, but... All right, um, <clears throat> yours. Uh, let's see. So, interesting. <laughs> I got the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Pentacles again. Somebody's watching you. You're being watched, Leo. And I don't sense in a bad way, but could be. It could be. Could be people being jealous of you. Um, or it could be your significant other. <laughs> Ooh, I wouldn't want those eyes staring at me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I mean, when I look at it, it's still cute, isn't it? It's still a cute little lynx. All right, let's see. Um, it's also, oh gosh, I didn't see this. Um, the tower. So it's a major arcana, Leo. And so when the tower comes out, it is a pivotal moment. Any, honestly, the judgment would just was just as pivotal. Um, the tower is a super confirmation, like a super, super confirmation that your life will change. Um, you have a lot of pages here. Um, the next one is a page of cups. Um, that was the last card that clarified the page of pentacles. So we have the page of pentacles, the tower, which I'm still holding in your face. And that, I mean, I'm trying to get the energy here. Um, hold on a moment. Yeah, but you know what? I sense the tower being good for you. Again, it's the universe just, just laying this out for you. Like it was written for you. Um, do I sense new love here? 
Um, Page of Cups. Oh my gosh. Look how this like cute otter is looking in the horizon. It does look a little sad, but it's, I don't know. I, I just feel like you have someone already in mind to be in a relationship with or a date. It doesn't have to be a full-blown relationship. And let's not forget the four wands. This guy was walking single. He, he does not need no one. Um, you could have your eyes on someone. Someone could have their eyes on you. Could be a younger energy. Um, you could be younger than them. They could be younger than you. Okay. 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 All right. Let's, um, let's figure out what this anxiety that you have. Um, and you know what? I'm not too worried about the, the eight of swords to tell you the truth. Um, I want to clarify because that's just me. I just love clarifying, but, um, I feel like you, you got this Leo. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I look at the Eight of Swords and I, I do also sense some type of, um, sadness, um, with you, Leo. So even though you may, I feel like you, <sighs> remember the Eight of Swords is, is anxiety, is worry. It's, it's close to the Nine of Swords, you know, one more sword is a Nine of Swords. That means you're not sleeping at night anymore. Um, which is not a good energy, you know, it's, it's, it is borderline depression, you know, melancholy, I would say you are, you, you are a little sad about something, but you're also trying to conquer it, um, at the same time. All right. So we have here, um, the five of <sighs> swords frustration that's what's bothering you you're frustrated oops interesting how that fell it fell right on the tower and the page of cups listen leo you're gonna have a new beginning um and i know it's it's listen leo i know leo's you are a fixed sign. You are fixated in your own beliefs and perception and morals and values. And you don't really like changes. I know, I know, I know. Because Scorpios are fixed. And I have a lot of fixed, fixed signs in my chart. It's hard for change. For me, it's very hard. I will stay in a relationship or at a job for a long time. It's, you know, whether I like it or not, it's, it's just hard for me to change that movement, that new movement. But sometimes the universe just literally pushes us, pushes us down a tree, down a tower. It makes us rethink, transform. This is Mars energy, by the way, which also represents Scorpio and Aries. This is... Um, this is very, it's, a, it's like I said, it is a pivotal moment moment in, in, your, in your life. Um, I feel like you're handling it well, I, I, but I, I still see that there is some frustration, like I see here. The Five of Swords, um, either um, through, um, I, I don't know, um, maybe just lies or... Or just a hopeless situation. Um, or you're just tired of people's shit. And that is what's frustrating you. That's what makes makes you sometimes feel like you want to be in this ditch. This ditch that you, whoever buried, whoever dug up this ditch right here. <laughs> so you're, you're trying to put somewhere, someone in there. Either this entity here or yourself because you're just so tired of the bullshit but I don't think you want to put yourself in it because you're holding that rock you're ready to fight <sighs> all right all right okay all right um let's see um I do want to clarify oh 
gosh. I might as well just keep clarifying everything because that's just me. I want to clarify everything. There's three more cards left, um, Leo. I'm, gonna, I'm about to clarify the Page of Wands. Um, remember the Page of Wands was like a half passionate energy. I felt like somebody was still carrying a torch for you or you're carrying a torch for someone, you know, this love. Um, so the Two of Pentacles came out. Yeah, see, uh, all right. Two of Pentacles usually means two energies. Um, either this person um, or yourself have um, um, hmm. competition. I sense. I sense competition. Mm, whoever is still holding a torch um, is very worried about the competition around um, either the, the person that they're still in love with um, or like I said, it doesn't have to always be about relationships. It, it could be a job. They're still holding a torch. Um, this torch right here. <laughs> um, because you want to still be at the job or a career or maybe you do want to let go of the torch maybe you're about to put that torch down but i don't i don't think this is you leo i think this is someone else holding that torch for you um or a job opportunity maybe your bosses and the competition it's like there is no other competition um if it's a job they just want you um or if it's a relationship there is competition and either this person feels like there's other people. Um, okay, again, let's look at this page of, pen, of cups. Before <laughs> I did say, I kind of sensed it in this page of cups. Like, you know, y your horizons are somewhere else. Um, you know, you may feel some way like this about one person or one person may feel this way about you. There is an another energy that is Cutting it, like they're admiring you. And I think the person that's holding the torch kind of sensed the competition. Yeah, full blown. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. The Five of Wands is in the bottom of the deck. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, be careful, uh, Leo. Um, I feel like this person will fight to the very end. And look at this. For first of all, this is a two of pentacles. Two of pentacles usually means two energies, juggling two. It could be a job or a relationship or two relationships or two jobs or I sense energy to to I sense competition. Um but look at those rabbits fighting. Come on, you don't you can't sit here and tell me you don't see what I'm looking at. Like you better not even touch him. That my man my woman um and then the fact that the five of of wands was on the bottom of the deck just look at that picture a club and a bow and an and arrow you don't think this person's ready to fight i mean it is a drawing but the five of wands is is is, is, is a battle All right, let's move on. Um, you know, let's clarify the Five of Cups because I feel like the person, this person may be the Five of Cups, but um, I was kind of reading it like uh, it was you, Leo. Um, but it could be the other person as if, let's see, let's just clarify. I'm just no talking, no talking. All right, a lot, of jump, a lot of cards jumped. I can't take this, I can't take this. This is too many cards. I'm already at 45 minutes. Give me just one card, Spirit, please. Yeah, like I was saying, with the Five of Cups, I sense that you kind of are getting over. You, you're victorious. You came out 
the bigger person in the end or you got the job that you wanted you know Um, let me know in the comments um, while I'm shuffling <laughs> if they resonated with you. Um, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me. All right, something came out. Um, all right, the Hierophant. Ooh, okay. So the Hierophant is another major arcana. This is made my Wildwood Tarot, right? All right. So remember this picture, the victorious little boy that took down a reptile. Um, but the Five of Cups traditionally means um, some type of um, breakup, sad, sad energy. I mean, look at all these cups on the floor. They're all spilled, spilled milk. People cry over spilled milk sometimes, Leo. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, not this one here. Um, what clarified it was, yeah. I, I sense the, the Hierophant, um, which is the ancestor in this deck, um, in the reverse. I'm not going to tell you anything else. I hmm. Hold on while I read it, okay? Um, this, this is a committed relationship. I mean, so the Hierophant does mean marriage, you know, or, or a contract. High priest. Um, wow. The, um, if this is not a relationship reading, I don't know what it is. Finally, I get it, a, a relationship reading for Leo. Usually I just read about money with you guys. And congratulations if you're making your pentacles this year. <laughs> um yeah this is um at the bottom of the deck it's, it's the five of pentacles um the five of pentacles in traditional tarot means someone being kicked out the house um losing their job look at the little girl mm, sorry i'm trying to find a good position so you could see but um does that look like a happy energy to you someone very sad that a relationship a commitment did not work out she has like this bonfire again like that torch that i saw here like that torch still burning for you leo or you could feel this way about someone it's like they're contemplating or just just even like you know, I, I feel like they, they're they trying to figure out how to get you back. And they feel so remorseful. It's actually making me a little sad. All right. Um, okay, let's move on. All right, so the last card is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is, I kind of sensed it has some type of conversation. Um, but very... So the conversation that you may have to think about, like, mm, I hear you, but let me think about it. <laughs> that type of conversation. All right, so let's clarify the last card, and then I'll tune off, okay? Okay. All right, so two cards. Um, I took out two cards. So the Six of Cups mm, with the King of Pentacles. Oh my God, this is so, this is just getting sadder by the moment. Um, so the Six of Cups is an energy that could be a soulmate that you've known for a while in a relationship for a long time, you know? We all have soulmates. We have all karmic relationships, you know. Um, and look at the trees, you know. It's it's so... Oh God, doesn't it look so sad to you? But then, like, 
I mean, you see this water. Remember, water means emotion. And, and it's like... Um, The trees are not happy. <laughs> the trees are just not happy. Um, oh my God. Look at these two otters. Remember? Look at the otter. Remember the otter from over here? Someone admiring you? Are you admiring them? Look at them here. Remember? I did say this card was soulmate energy. Um, this can mean one of two things, Leo. It can mean someone that you known for some time that you want to start a relationship with. Maybe you can't at the moment. Or maybe they can at the moment. Um, but it's someone, it, this card, it's someone you've known for a while. They're, they have been in your, like, in your environment and, and around you for quite some time one is looking up one is looking down um yeah i uh, so it it can mean that or it can mean um the commitment that that's about that you're about to end or has ended or whatever the case may be um one has high hopes the other one is just like moving on they just want to move on. But it is definitely someone that you've known for a while, whether it's a new relationship or not. You know, you guys might have talked about, you know, getting together and you were like, you know, let me think about it. Hold on a second, because I got some shit going that I need to, like, <laughs> get rid of or <laughs> literally get rid of or, um, I don't know. You take it as a resonate. So, um, King of Pentacles. So... I don't know. The King of Pentacles. Oh, God. For this to be the last card to come out. <sighs> Winter. Look at this wolf howling at the moon. Full moon at that. The moon also represents emotions. It's a lot of emotions in this reading. And, and then the fact that I have, like, the judgment, the hierophant, the tower. There, It's just a change of of a relationship that meant so much and I felt I feel like this is either you or the person howling at the moon with such regret the king of pentacles is listen the king of pentacles is a good husband I'm not gonna lie <laughs> or a good wife it doesn't matter um energy is, is it's it's not female male masculine it's it's both masculine and feminine and there's no I mean we're looking at a wolf here so <laughs> but um yeah and I know it's typical and cliche for me to say that this person is just howling at the moon and and and, and pouring his feelings or her feelings out but that's what I sense cold winter full moon come on now i could also mean a new beginning um because i did sense in the last card that that could also mean you know this other person this other energy that's admiring you or you admiring them they could also be um <sighs> hollering at the moon for you <laughs> Like, ooh, ooh, I want that girl. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so it could be good. Um, either way, the King of Pentacles, is, is, it is a, a wonderful person. It doesn't have to be a husband, but it's a, a stable person. Um, usually um, with money. Um, definitely with money, actually. It has it all. House, job. Good job, not no winky thing like a career, if not an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, all right, so I'm gonna end the reading here. I just want to see what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So, um, yeah, I, I just you know what, folks, um, 
I'm sorry. It is a definitely an ending of a relationship. Yeah. But the good news is that I keep seeing new beginnings. And I feel like you may know this person or this person is admiring you from far. New. Not the old one. New. But, however, it could also be the old person. I, 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 whoever you've known, there is somebody admiring you or you admiring them that you might have known or that's still holding a torch for you. Um, but either way, whether there's two, two energies here or not, um, there's someone still very much in love with you and doesn't want to let you go. But you know what? Like I said, the universe has something else planned for you. Yeah. Judgment. So get used to the change. All right. I hope that helped. Um, please email me for a personal reading. Take advantage this month while it's free. Uh, Leo's. Um, and then, um, like I said, I'll leave my, uh, my link um, as far as uh, my email in the description box. Also, I will also leave um, the birth chart website. You definitely need to check your birth chart website. Uh, the birth chart website, I say it all the time. Okay, because the sun doesn't, your sun sign doesn't just represent you. It has a personality. It is not entirely you. There is a moon. <laughs> a moon, which represents your emotions. There is... Mars energy, which represents your drive. It's all have house, plate, house placements. I don't know why I'm doing this with you. Um, this represents Venus. You know, your passion. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll stop there. I think this is one of only three major arcanas. All right. Good evening. Uh, until next time. Bye.